Hi everybody, um, we're here to open up a Next today. Um, first thing you want to do is remove the SD card because that will get in the way later on. I'm taking anti-static precautions here. I have my anti-static wristband on and I'm placing the Next on a slightly softer surface. I guess you could probably do better. There are six screws uh, which are attaching the upper and lower case sections. So we want to remove those first. Once those are removed, we just turn the next back the right way up. And then we need to just separate the upper and lower case sections. It can be quite fiddly because the uh, screw bosses themselves are encircled by part of the case structure. And the natural tendencies for the case to fall back into position when you, you move to try and separate the other side. But there's no risk or anything here because there's nothing connecting the two uh, case sections, there's no wiring or, or flex tails or anything. The boards are screwed to the top section, so you'll see that now, hopefully, if I can. Yeah, here we go. Woohoo! So there we go, there is the main board on the right and door to board on the left. And I'm just pointing out here those, those bits I mentioned on the lower case, which encircle the screw bosses and provide a bit more structure that you can see the screw bosses. Okay. Bearing in mind this is an issue to a board and um, I've adapted it. Um, you'll also see the the heat swaging on the right for the coloured plugs is not right. Uh, this is a prototype case as well. There are four screws holding in the main board and there are four screws holding in the daughter board, so we need to remove those first. So once all the screws are removed, we need to navigate the main board out. Uh, you see where the VGA port is protruding, we need to slide the main board back a little bit so that we can get it clear of the case. And you'll see that this is a, an issue 2A board which I've adapted. Um, we remove the flex tail connectors of which there are three, the 2 pin one, the 8 pin one and the 5 pin one, we just remove those gently and then the board is separate and on its own. You see the capacitor mod there that I've done myself, it's not reflective of the, the finished product, it's just a capacitor I had lying around. Yours will have a much nicer one in there. So um, there's the beeper I've added myself, there's the ugly capacitor. Um, Raspberry Pi accelerator there. Uh, RTC. And here's the memory. And I've got mine fully populated at the moment, 2 meg. The ESP module, which I'll show you here, um, is just a plug in affair. Very easy to do number of pins on the ESP, there's a picture on the board which tells you which way it goes and you literally just plug it in and that's it, job done. Similarly the Pi accelerator, the pins are already on the board and you need a Pi Zero with the, the connector, the female connector, on what are considered the opposite side of the board to what, what you'd normally have and uh, again that just plugs in. On the finished product the Pi does have 
um, nylon standoffs and it is screwed to the board but mine isn't um, I'm kind of fine with it the way it is but yours will be screwed in so once you've done your bits um, putting it back together so the uppercase section that away and you're just going to rest the edge of the main board on the plastic and the, the daughter board you're just going to be hanging again and um, you then want to reinsert the flex tails gently uh, taking care not to um, crease them or anything just slide them in gently take your time there's the 8 pin going in and then finally the 5 pin and then you can position the board sliding the VGA port back through the hole and lining up the holes on the main board with the bosses on the case bosses? posts? yeah and do the same with the daughter board. The daughter board will click in very slightly to those posts. And then it's just a question of screwing all the screws back in, the four screws for the daughter board and the four screws for the main board. Just a note on, on the memory side of things, mine was already populated with the upgrade. And once that memory is in, it's a real pain to try and get out again it is absolutely solid so I didn't want to remove the RAM from mine to show you the insertion but there are other videos or pictures out there which show you literally the um, pin one on the chip needs to align with the uh, little chamfered edge of the uh, socket so I won't I won't really go into that and yeah, then you screw it all back together, you reattach the uh, case halves and uh, Bob's your uncle. <laughs>